Starship Prototype. SpaceX is getting close to the next important step in the development of its Starship rocket as it works to meet the environmental impact standards set this week by the Federal Aviation Administration. Elon Musk stated on Tuesday that his company would have a Starship prototype rocket ready to fly by July. His space venture plans to use the rocket to make its first orbital entry using the vehicle. The Starship orbital flight test was expected to occur as early as last summer, but SpaceX's hopes kept getting dashed by delays in development and regulatory approval. A crucial environmental judgment made by the FAA on Monday brought the program's long-awaited evaluation to a close. Before applying for the launch license necessary for the flight test, SpaceX must complete more than 75 of the organization's actions. In a string of tweets, Musk asserted that he had spent Monday night reviewing work on the rocket at the SpaceX facility in Boca Chica, Texas. He stated, Thereafter, the business aims to operate flights monthly, and a second Starship stack will be prepared to fly in August. The company is building its roughly 400-foot-tall reusable Starship rocket, with the goal of carrying cargo and passengers beyond Earth. The Raptor series of engines from SpaceX power both the rocket and its super-heavy booster. Although SpaceX has not yet entered space, Starship prototypes have successfully completed a number of high-altitude flight tests. NASA's Concerns According to a senior space agency source, NASA wants Elon Musk's SpaceX to guarantee that its plan to launch the next-generation Starship rocket from Florida will not jeopardize neighboring launch facilities vital to the International Space Station. The new obstacle makes the rocket's launch plan much more complex and may cause it to be delayed. The rocket's primary launch site in Texas is currently the subject of a drawn-out regulatory examination. Musk wants to demonstrate to consumers that Starship, which he views as humanity's route to Mars, is capable of making it to orbit, a crucial but long-delayed development step for the rocket. It might take months for NASA to approve SpaceX's solutions to their issues, which include a plan to allow American astronauts to launch from a different Florida launch pad. SpaceX accelerated the construction of an orbital Starship launch pad at its facilities in Cape Canaveral, Florida last year as a backup to the rocket's primary test launch and development site in Boca Chica, Texas, which has been the subject of a protracted regulatory review and is scheduled to be finished next week. However, only Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, Florida, one of SpaceX's current Florida sites, is authorized to launch the company's Crew Dragon capsule and NASA depends on that ship to transport its astronauts to the International Space Station. NASA representatives have recently informed SpaceX that a Starship explosion at Launch Complex 39A could eliminate the space agency's only method of sending American astronauts to the International Space Station. According to Kathy Loiters, head of NASA's space operations, we all realize that if you had an early failure like we had on one of the early SpaceX flights, that would be fairly damaging to 39A. Requests for comment from SpaceX were not answered. A Starship pad hundreds of feet away from Pad 39A's launch tower has already received significant investment from SpaceX. According to a person familiar with the preparations, in response, it has pitched NASA on a plan to equip its other Florida pad, Launch Complex 40, located five miles away from Space Force grounds with the capability to launch American astronauts. According to Loiters, the corporation is also looking into ways to harden 39A to make the launch pad more resistant to explosive Starship accidents and the powerful forces released after a successful Starship liftoff. The 39A pad's hardening and the launch of people from Pad 40 would need government permission. Results of FAA's Environmental Evaluation The plan by SpaceX to construct test, and launch its Starship heavy lift vehicle from the Starbase facility in Boca Chica, Texas, will not result in severe environmental impacts, according to the Federal Aviation Administration, which announced its findings on Monday, June 13, 2022. This is assuming the business takes the necessary steps to reduce adverse effects. A Starship is a massive rocket, almost as tall as a 30-story structure, and it is designed to transport passengers and cargo to places like the Moon and Mars beyond the Earth's orbit. According to NASA, it will serve as the primary support vehicle for the Artemis mission, bringing astronauts back to the Moon's surface. 
The FAA's conclusion gives SpaceX a clear and somewhat easy road to clearance, though it does not ensure that the agency would grant the firm a license to operate in Texas. Because of Musk's subsequent announcements, even if there is no date for Starship's first orbital flight, an initial liftoff may occur before the end of the summer. Rescheduling to July Elon Musk, the creator and CEO of SpaceX, tweeted that Starship would be prepared for an orbital test flight by July, despite the company's official response being subdued. The infamously talkative Musk was reacting to one of his numerous followers on his preferred social media site. The SpaceX executive did not stop there and declared that the following month, SpaceX would have another vehicle ready to fly. SpaceX's Anticipated Outcome The outcome was what the private space transportation business had anticipated. The FAA finally released the final Programmatic Environmental Assessment, or PEA, after several months of delays. On Monday, June 13, 2022, the FAA made the environmental document and a mitigated finding of no significant impact or record of decision, mitigated FONSI rod, public. SpaceX must complete a list of 75 tasks designed to reduce the effects that manufacturing and operating its large lift vehicle will have on the environment, neighboring historical sites, and public access to nearby recreational areas to receive the FAA's final approval to start launches. Obligations from Operating Starbase The FAA examined the potential effects of SpaceX proposal in great detail, and the PEA highlights the following areas of primary concern. Among the environmental impact categories that were evaluated were natural resources and energy supply, socioeconomics, environmental justice, risks to children's health and safety in the environment, air quality, climate, noise and noise-compatible land use, visual effects, cultural resources, Department of Transportation, DOT Act Section 4F, water resources, biological resources, coastal resources, land use, hazardous materials, solid waste, and pollution prevention. Although the PEA determined that SpaceX's actions would be disruptive, the FAA claims that the firm can lessen the impact by taking preventative efforts to lessen anticipated adverse effects. The business must also have thorough procedures for handling launch anomalies, the FAA's polite phrase for potential spacecraft crashes and fuel explosions. Undefined date for test flights. Regarding the release of the PEA, SpaceX has not yet made any significant statements. Immediately after the release of the PEA, the business acknowledged the FAA's action in a brief but upbeat tweet. The stack of Spaceship 24 atop Booster 7 in the Starship configuration that will probably take the first test flight is still being adjusted. Nevertheless, the stack is almost ready for takeoff. Elon Musk, the creator and CEO of SpaceX, posted an image of Booster 7 with its Raptor engines installed on Friday, June 10, 2022. The Conclusion The SpaceX Starbase in Boca Chica, Texas is one step closer to receiving the final license, which will hopefully happen this summer. The FAA released its final programmatic environmental assessment for the facility on Monday, June 13, 2022.